Allo, and welcome to AlloSim. Here's how to install your new eSIM on your Samsung device. If this is your first time using an eSIM, you can use our device checker to ensure your Samsung is eSIM compatible. It's a good idea to install your eSIM before your trip with a strong internet connection. But don't activate your data until you've arrived at your destination where you can connect to the right networks. You can install your new eSIM by using the free AlloSIM app or logging in on AlloSIM.com. To begin your install, select My eSIMs. Choose the eSIM you want to install and select Install Your eSIM. You can choose from either a QR code or manual installation. Manual installation involves copying and pasting this info into your Samsung device settings. But QR code installation is the easiest method, so let's walk through that first. Tap Share Code to send your QR code to a nearby device so you can scan it in a minute. If you have a Samsung Galaxy S22 or newer, you can take a screenshot of your QR code instead. On your Samsung device, go to Settings, Connections, then SIM Card Manager. Tap Add eSIM or Add Mobile Plan then select Scan QR Code. Scan your QR code from another device, or if your device supports it, take a screenshot of the QR code and tap the photo icon to upload it. When it asks you to add AlloSIM eSIM, tap Add or Continue to complete your install. And once it shows up on your phone, it's a good idea to tap your eSIM and rename it so you can tell your SIMs apart. Congrats, your eSIM has been installed. If you're already in the right country or region for your eSIM, you can activate your data package anytime. If you're not there yet, wait until you arrive to follow these next steps. To activate your data package, go to Settings, Connections, SIM Card Manager, and make sure your new eSIM is toggled on. If you have more than one SIM, you need to tell your Samsung to use your eSIM as its only data source. Under SIM Card Manager and Preferred SIM or Primary SIM, make sure it says AlloSIM. To connect to local networks, your eSIM needs data roaming on. Go to Settings, Connections, Mobile Networks and make sure data roaming is on. Your network selection should already be set to automatic, which keeps you connected to the best supported networks on your travels. If your APN isn't set to AlloSIM, you'll need to edit it or add a new one. If your selected APN doesn't say AlloSIM, edit it to say AlloSIM in both the name and APN fields and save your changes. And if no APN is showing, tap Add to create a new one with AlloSIM in both the name and APN fields, then save your changes. If you won't be using your regular phone number while you're abroad, go to Settings, Connections, SIM Card Manager, and turn your primary SIM off. You can't use your regular phone number till you turn it back on, but you also won't worry about your carrier charging you for international calling and or texting. If you do want to use your regular phone number internationally, make sure your regular SIM is the default for all calls and texts. And it's always a good idea to ask your carrier about their pay-per-use rates for international calling and texting. Congrats! You did it! Your AlloSIM data package has been activated and your data is ready to use. If you want to use your AlloSIM data for hotspotting or tethering, go to Settings, Connections, then Mobile Hotspot and Tethering to make sure these options are toggled on. To track your usage, head to AlloSIM and select My eSIMs then tap on the eSIM to see its data balance. And if you need more data, you can top up your eSIM anytime in the AlloSIM app or at AlloSIM.com. When you're finished using your eSIM and have arrived home, it's safe to switch back to your primary SIM. Select your primary SIM and make sure it's turned on. Then select your eSIM and turn it off. Now you'll tell your Samsung device to go back to using your primary SIM for all data. Under SIM Card Manager, tap Preferred SIM Card or Primary SIM and change it back to your regular SIM. And remember, eSIMs never expire, so don't delete yours in case you want to use it again someday. We are here to help 24-7. 
If you have any questions about using eSIM on your Samsung device, get in touch with our support team anytime. Thanks for watching.